so cool, but I can't ever stop, baby, pain over rules. Why you so bright, but I stay so blue, stay so blue. I'm blue. I will need, I will die, I will need, I will die. What's going on guys, it's your boy Pozzo here, and today I'm bringing you guys something a little different, not been seen to this channel yet. Basically, I just want to do a quick tutorial slash strategy for certain maps when it comes to sniping. I'm just going to key out the best maps if you want to hit a clip. But um, first of all, I've just gone into custom games just to show you guys basically what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go down the list, but I'm going to basically section one off um, from like 1 to 10. So I don't think there's going to be any more than that. Uh, I will not be including the DLC map as I haven't played them enough yet, but I will do the bonus maps. We'll go on to the standard maps first. So you got Arsenal. This one will probably be ranked fairly low on the list. Contraband, I recommend this map. It'll probably come at mid range uh, in the top 10. Firing range is one of the best. Uh, frequency is also one of my personal favorites, uh, but that would be probably just high end middle area uh gridlock would also come around the middle area uh, i'm not too sure about this map because you can get a bit of luck either side um there's quite a good couple of spawn traps so i'd probably rank it just in the middle maybe slightly a little bit higher um this map for icebreaker is one of my personal favorites to snipe on so i would definitely recommend if you come into a lobby do not back out of this one uh jungle it's one of the worst to be honest even though i've hit a triple collapse uh, when going for the Agony Montage Challenge. It was pure luck. Most triple clats are, to be honest. This map, I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest. There's one spot where you can get a couple of kills, but feeds, it's just not the greatest. So this one would come quite low, the bottom of the um, list. Uh, this map, this one has one good spot, uh, which is one of the spawns, but it's still come fairly low to the uh, bottom of the list. Uh, payload is a good map but i wouldn't rank it anything higher than frequency uh seaside one of the worst to be honest there is no good spawn traps uh or anywhere to get feeds uh slums has always been my personal favorite on other black ops games but i feel like in black ops 4 this, they've messed up the spawns a little bit but i'd still rank it just below or just above frequency it's either it depends on the game you get to be honest summit i would probably i probably rank it somewhere just below middle oh i forgot about the bonus guys you got newtown obviously he's one of the best sniping maps to go on just because it's short range we won't bother doing firing range or seaside there's no point with that so i'm gonna carry on icebreaker number one firing range then it's newtown then i would say possibly frequency payload this map then this one then i'd probably go summit contraband then it would have to go to slums then arsenal then this one then possibly this one to then f probably finish it off with which was it seaside i think we've done them all there but i'm going to in this first episode, I'm going to basically go into my personal favourite. So we're going to go into Icebreaker. We're going to have a couple of games in that. And I'm going to basically show you the best parts to be able to get a clip. And they're kind of like spawn traps. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so uh, here we are with uh, the map Icebreaker. Starting off, I normally use Ruin. Quickly get into the action a little bit. They always tend to spawn here. Uh, yeah, if I come bad. over here now, or they spawn to the left of me now, which seems to be where they're spawning. So we got that, and then see our teammates are spawning there now, so they're not going to be spawning there, they're going to be spawning either over here or south side over there. But it seems like it's a bit of an empty spot over here. It's going to hard to go up around there. Okay, so they're not there. There's a guy over here. You're dead. Oh, messed up. There's your little hit marker. You tend to spawn in this area here, which means your enemies can spawn in this area, or they tend to spawn over here, uh, which is always a very good uh, little spot to get clipped. But now, all my teammates are over here and back there, means that coming over here, missed that. 
If I was a bit better, maybe I'd have hit like a little quad feed there or a triple or something. Stop it. Another spot is obviously you got this back spawn here. I very rarely come back here unless I obviously spawn here. So I tend to just get up here as quickly as possible. We've lost the lead. Oh, there's your quad, guys. There's your five, man. I missed a six. Great. So, yeah, obviously you got that little spot there. They tend to line up really, really nicely, as uh, just shown. Looks like they're all spawning back over here. See if we can hit something a little bit better. We got the one. See if he's going to come around. Oh, no. Okay. So we messed up a little bit there. Not too worry. We're spawning over here. Which means they're either spawning southwest or over this side, which is northwest. Uh, if you don't know where northwest, southwest, east, whatever, uh, if you look in the on the map, I'm about to die. If you have a look on the map, it says it around, as in like a circle. As you can see, spinning around, north that way, east, south, west. Pretty simple. The reason why I use Ruin is because I like to rush in. I like to get to the action as quickly as possible. Like they're all going to be here now. I'm going to come around this corner. And they're all there. They're all there. If I could only get a couple of those. Oh, it looks like they're going to be over here. On past. Okay, I'm just going to run over here. Got that guy. Got the shield. It's a good little use of the Ruin. Okay, so there's a guy there. Get him. They're all coming northwest. Little jump shot now. Nope. Not to worry. Got one. Two. Ah, nearly got three. Not to worry. So at the moment, some people think I'm doing quite well. I feel like I'm doing absolutely terrible. Apart from having that little nice six man. Six man, five man. Even. I don't even know, to be honest. It happens so quickly. Right, there's the one. No. It's just not my day. Alright. Right here. Alright, it looks like they're going to be spawning this side. You're dead. Okay, so also, guys, I've got to get over here without dying. Ooh, okay, so if you're coming from this end, they're coming over that end, and they're all spawning here. If you get into this spot here, it's like they're going to die. I thought I was going to get a little clip then, but <laughs> quickly looking at the map, they look like they are. Oh, they're all down this side. Okay, so I'm ready for this. There's the one. Okay, so there's one guy. Which means they're spawning. Shut up. Oh, they're spawning down here. I'm ready for this. There's one headshot. Okay, so there you are. Guy come around this side. And there he is. Oh, no. I messed up a little bit though, guys. Okay, so we're pushing up here. There's one guy. That guy just got absolutely shot on. There's one. There's two. There's three. And I just got shafted by the um, sentry gun. Love it. Alright, so that was our first game. Uh, 34 and 23. We got a nice little clip. Hopefully it'll show at the end. Here it goes. This one too bad. So we got a nice little clap there, close to a triple, missed the shot, nearly got a triple again. Nice little five man, should have had the six to be honest, but choked it.
lifesaver, man. <laughs> Shit. So bright, but it stays so blue, stays so blue. Um. blue.